What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I1 Tesla and you know a lot of people are excited about the Cybertruck coming because of the capabilities of the vehicle maybe going off road um, but you know we're still waiting a year and a half for that so you know wouldn't it be cool if we could do something like that now maybe there's a mountain behind us and also there's something else I've done to have fun now while we're waiting for the Cybertruck. So yes, I've built an off-road, really an overlanding Model Y. I've lifted the car, got big tires on it, like oversized. These are probably the biggest tires you can probably put on a Tesla, on a Model Y anyway. Probably on a Tesla really, because the, the Model X you can't do anything bigger. It's not done yet. It's got a roof rack that still needs work on it. The lights are on, but they're not fully hooked up yet. Uh, lights on the side, lights on the back, not fully done. But today is really just a day to get out here, a little shakedown of the car so we're not going off-road and, and this isn't really built to be an off-road vehicle this is built to be an overlanding vehicle so the difference between off-roading and overlanding is off-roading is the ability and the the challenge of overcoming obstacles like rock crawling like you see these jeeps climb over these really steep rocks and and going through these big rivers and things like that that's not what overlanding is overlanding is the whole adventure of going off-road uh, and going to a destination, going on not so much treacherous roads or big obstacles, it's more of the whole adventure. And that's kind of what the Tesla is all about as far as going on trips. What better way to go off-road or go in the wilderness with a zero emissions vehicle and enjoy the adventure. I'm in North Carolina. I mean, that is a huge mountain in North Carolina here. Not very far from me. Uh, I plan on doing a lot more out here, going in some more trails than what we're doing today. Today we're just on Old North Carolina Highway 105. And that's, if you're in North Carolina, that's what they tell you to go to first. So that's what we're doing as a shakedown of this off-roading Model Y. Haven't come up with a name yet. Maybe you guys can help me out with the name, but right now is just gonna be a little fun time on some back roads. Uh, we're gonna have some fun today. So the road is gravel for most of this. Uh, it might turn to some dirt, I'm not sure. It's gonna be dusty, but I've lowered the tire pressure down to 30 PSI. We're gonna enjoy this. I'm here with my son and we're gonna enjoy this little drive. The good thing about being here in the mountains is you can pull off any place and there is epic views pretty much wherever you look. Campfires, people camping back here. I think it might rain a little bit, so we're gonna get back in the car. There was a fire here before. Look at this tree. The forest fire here years ago. It must have been because there's stuff growing. Uh, I think. Pilot Mountain here, I think, caught on fire uh, uh, quite a long time ago, but really cool how things just grow back.
So the cameras, are, of course, are not going to do this justice, but that's a pretty large hill. That car couldn't make it up there, but we're going to go up this. I'm going to set some GoPros up and see if we see if the Tesla can do it. So we are walking up this hill because those people that came down the hill said it, the roads washed out and there's like a two foot gully that they couldn't make it through in their car. Uh, I kind of want to go up it because this thing is steep. It doesn't give too much perspective, but this is, we're having to hike up this hill. We're already at 3,300 feet. We started at 15, uh, but I want to see, see if we can make this. I want to I keep going. So we made it up the hill. That was a lot, but here's where he was talking about. The, this is a little bit of concrete and I guess the road continues. I'm not sure it's washed out a little bit But I think we can make it this way Like a lot of people have gone. We'll just stay off to the right Straddle that and we should be just fine going up the hill. We'll just do the same thing on the way back We're gonna try to make it back up there. Uh, we like I showed you I think we can make it so we're gonna uh, get in the car and go All right, so we're gonna put this in off-road mode. It's in driving and off-road assist. What that does is it keeps the tires from spinning so much. Basically the first quarter of the throttle, uh, it, it just elongates that a little bit so you don't spin so much. So we're gonna to have to put it in drive to go though. <laughs> So this is an amazing spot. We're having so much fun up here. We made it through that road, no problems at all. And I just wanna talk a little bit about the car. So the wrap is made by Avery Dennison. They sent over the wrap for the video. I'm gonna have a whole video on the wrap itself, but it is a textured wrap, so it, it prevents scratches and things like that. I do still have the paint protection underneath that, so if something does scratch through the vinyl, because uh, vinyl doesn't really protect your car, uh, it will be protected by the PPF that I got done by Sunstoppers in Charlotte. The wheels I've had for my Model 3, those are the 19-inch wheels that I drove out west in. I still had those 19-inch wheels. I just grabbed some Toyo tires, and Toyo actually did sponsor of the channel uh, not fully sponsored they sponsored the build so I have these sets of tires the open country AT3s these are a great all-day everyday tire and then I'm gonna be getting some rough terrain tires as well the lift kit was brought to us by mountain pass performance You've, I've worked with them in the past and all it is is a spacer that goes on top of the strut which is really cool because it doesn't affect any warranties at all in fact I I talked to my service center in Charlotte and I said if I put these spacers on can you guys align the vehicle they would have but they're so busy that they couldn't ha they didn't have time so I, I reached out to the people who did my bumper when I had my model 3 and the, someone hit me in my bumper the certified body shop actually here in Hickory North Carolina uh, K&M collision they I called them up and they said of course we can uh, do the alignment I brought it up there that same day they took care of me they actually went into the computer to see if they can upgrade the tire size which they can't so Tesla hit me up because uh, things need to change on this for off-road and I'd like to make a better off-road mode for you. K&M Collision took great care of me so if you're in the Hickory North Carolina area or I'm in Mooresville or Asheville make sure you hit up them for any services that you need. The roof rack I'm going to the or the light rack I'm going to go over in detail that is a DIY build that I'm doing myself out of extruded aluminum. 
I'll have more details on that. But there's a lot more to come with this vehicle. A lot more that I haven't shown in this and some really cool things. And we're gonna be taking it some amazing places. I have that roof rack up there, but I'm also looking at possibly a rooftop tent. If there's a company out there that wants to um, help out with a rooftop tent because I got some camping trips coming up. The efficiency runs on this with a giant tent up there, plus with these wheels and tires. I'm gonna give you that data at the end of this video. But we're gonna enjoy this view for a little bit and do some more driving before it rains. We've traveled 50 miles since the supercharger and an average of 530 watt hours per mile. Okay, so this trail is really nice, but the thing you have to watch out for are these giant spiders. Look how big they are compared to the map. Rest, all the trees are closed. You can't use the restroom here. It's freaking cool. Look at the bench. <laughs> Whoa, this is awesome. It's got views on views. North Carolina's flexing on the nation. That was a Stradman reference. Ooh, this I guess looks like it hangs off. You go first. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't play any of that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This does not do it justice. This camera, it's a wide angle lens. You can see a lot, but the view, unbelievable. There's a river down there. This is freaking awesome. So we had fun at the halfway point. Nice lookout area. Again, you have to come out here. Now we're gonna head back. We're here at 52% battery. We left the supercharger at 90% and hopefully, I mean, we should have enough because we're gonna, we're actually quite high. Well, we were 34, 3,400 feet. Yeah. We're going all the way down to 15 uh, and then even more once we get to the supercharger. So what do you think we'll end up at the supercharger with? What's your guess? We're at 52 now. 15. 15%? Yeah. I think we're gonna end up at 25%. I think we're gonna do pretty well. Although regenerative braking is not as strong now because of those wheels, like I said, so we'll see. Winner buys lunch. What? Or dinner. Oh my god. Oh, it's three o'clock already. We're at the exact same spot where I aired down the tires and we're at 49% after coming back all the way we left halfway. Kyle was sleeping. We were at the halfway point at 52% and we made it all the way back down because of regen 
at 49%. So it looks like um, we're not even going to come close to your number, which is awesome because you can have fun and then go back down the mountain and get all your power back. Or don't lose any more, really. We're back to the supercharger in Hickory, North Carolina, where we started and we charged a 90% battery. Made it back here with 28% battery, which is amazing. The watt hour per mile for this trip was 425 watt hours per mile. We used 100 miles. Yes, that's not really, really good, but we have big tires on here. I lowered them down to 30 pounds of pressure, even on the way back here, the 35 mile drive on the highway all the way back to here, running the air conditioning. And since since that, we actually stopped before we got on the highway 34 miles ago. On the highway, we were doing 371 watt hours per mile. So not bad, we did a lot worse on the way there. Uh, so 425 watt hours per mile, not too, not too bad. So we're back to where we began today and it's been an amazing adventure, fun adventure for my son and I. Uh, he had obviously never been in, done anything like this, so it was great to get out here. The, ca the car is very capable. There's a lot of changes I would like to make. Again, this is not done, and this was really just a shakedown for the car. I do have the six-day vlogs coming up soon of the build of this car. The process of everything I went through uh, building this and wrapping the car and showing you some of the stuff I've done. There's been a lot of help with this project. Uh, there's going to be more in detail about those companies that I've been working with and way more in the future. There's a, there's a lot coming to the channel. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber yet. I had the guts to lift the car and put some big ass tires on it. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, again, this is not an off-road vehicle. This is consider uh, this is an overlanding vehicle where this is a lot of stuff that we did today. Uh, just driving like this. Sometimes it's some uh, some rough roads. Sometimes it's not, but it's not on the highways. It's getting out in nature, enjoying your vehicles. This thing is a zero emissions vehicle, and what better place to have it than to have it in nature? Smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Like the video. Whatever. It's been a long day. I'm tired. I really am tired. Uh, this does kind of beat you up a little bit, but I got to say the car handled amazingly. I went slow in the, on the way there, and I've gone a lot faster on the way back. So thanks for watching. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you maybe out in the trails. Maybe. Take care.